The lawyer tasked with investigating Joe Biden's handling of classified documents has defended his report before Congress. Former special counsel Robert Hur has appeared on the Hill in Washington, D.C. Our North America correspondent Carrington Clark was there. Carrington, good morning. So Mr Hur is under fire from both sides. Yeah, good morning to you. Well, I think Robert Hur might have felt like a political football at times today, being tossed around by two competing teams who had very different ideas of exactly what game they were playing. So Robert Hur was appointed by the Attorney General to investigate Joe Biden for his handling of classified documents after some were discovered at his private residence and in an office. Uh, in the end, Robert Hur found that criminal charges were not warranted against the uh, current President of the United States, uh, in part because he did not believe that a jury would find him guilty, given that the President, in his words, seemed to be suffering um, from a failing memory. Now, what we saw, though, today on display here at the, at, at the Congressional uh, building uh, was the Republicans trying to push Robert Hur on why it was that he had not chosen to prosecute Joe Biden on his handling of classified documents, despite the fact that uh, former President Donald Trump is being prosecuted for what seems on face value to be pretty similar charges. The Democrats wanting to make the comparison with the former president, uh, saying that unlike Donald Trump, Joe Biden had always worked with the investigators, uh, investigators and had not tried to cover anything up. But there was a particularly important moment during the back and forth where Robert Hur made clear that he had not cleared the current president. Today, the ranking member started his opening statement by saying, Mr. Hur completely exonerated President Biden and called your report a total and complete exoneration. Mr. Hur, did you completely exonerate President Biden? That is not what my report does. Was your report a total and complete exoneration? That is not what the report says. So the statement by the ranking member was incorrect, yes? Um, as I said, the, the report is not an exon exoneration. That word does not appear in my report. So not completely exonerated. The president has not been cleared of all wrongdoing. But Robert Hurd did make the determination that he would not prosecute him criminally. So Carrington, just remind us, why are these comments about Mr Biden's memory just so damaging? Well, we are into the presidential election year. It is possible that today, in fact, both Joe Biden and Donald Trump will reach the, the necessary threshold to be declared the presumptive nominees for their respective parties for the upcoming presidential race. And the issue around age and mental acuity is top of mind for voters. We know it's a major issue, particularly for the president, Joe Biden. Voters seem very concerned that at his advanced age, he's 81 already, he'll be 86 by the end of his second term if he were to be re-elected. They are concerned that, that that's just too old for a commander-in-chief. The Democrats want to make this comparison with Donald Trump. There were videos utilised by the Democrats today showing stumbles by Donald Trump, wanting to make the argument that even if Joe Biden occasionally missteps, so does Donald Trump. The question is whether or not in the minds of voters they're on the same level. Donald Trump is a few years younger than Joe Biden. And at that, that pointy end of their ages, those few years can make an awful lot of difference.